What's up guys, Dean Bakari coming at you with a viewer question today. And today's question comes from Paul in Chicago. Uh, Paul says, hey Dean, I've been watching your videos about fasting and doing some research about it and thinking about giving it a try to burn some stubborn body fat that I've been struggling with. I have some hesitations about intermittent fasting though, slowing down my metabolism. I always thought that the best approach to weight loss was to eat several small meals a day to keep my metabolism up. So my question is this, if eating several meals a day speeds up your metabolism, then wouldn't intermittent fasting do the opposite and slow it down? Okay, well, this is actually a common misconception. Thanks for the question, by the way. Now, here's the thing. Let's go ahead and just demolish this right now. This is a myth, straight up myth. Your metabolism is not regulated by meal frequency. Your metabolism is regulated by the amount of energy that you're putting into your bodies, i.e. the amount of calories that you're putting in to sustain your body and keep it, in, um, keep it alive. So, and that in conjunction with your exercise routine, so how you're moving and what type of exercises you're doing in the gym. So those two things are what regulate metabolism in your body and speed up your metabolism in your body. So some foods have what's called a thermic effect, the thermic effect of food. You, might have, you may or may not have heard of it. So some foods like protein, for example, has a higher thermic effect. Um, peppers and cayenne pepper, for example, has a higher thermic effect. And what that means is that whenever you eat food, you're burning a certain amount of calories throughout the digestion process because it requires energy for your body to actually digest the food that you're eating. So on average for most people, it's uh, with a well-balanced diet, you're gonna be burning about 10% of those calories that you put in just throughout the digestion process, absorbing the food that you eat and um, assimilating those nutrients into your body so that you can use them. So say for example, you eat 2000 calories a day, 10% of those 200 calories, boom, you're burning those on average. Um, sometimes it depends on whether if you're really focusing on it and you eat more foods that have a higher thermic effect and you really concentrate on it. But for the most part, it's 10%, guys. So um, what, so many the, the way this myth came about about eating multiple six small meals a day was basically by the food and supplement industry guys you know they want you to consume they want you to keep on eating it would be it would be terrible for them from their their point of view uh as far as money financially speaking for them to start telling everybody that you really don't need to do this they seeked out a bogus observational study on how you know meal frequency and um, thermic effect of food speeds up your metabolism and then they poured a bunch of money into it and told a million people about it and now everybody's toting it and you say something for long enough people start believing it right well it's nonsense guys your metabolism is not 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 regulated by meal frequency how many meals a day you eat so there is absolutely zero difference between you eating six meals a day um, or you eating three meals, two meals, one meal a day. You can eat within, a, you can fast the entire day and as long as you are taking in a, the specific amount of caloric intake that you need for your specific fitness goals, then you'll be fine if you, if you have one meal a day. There will be no difference if you're you know, your, your body's not going to go into starvation mode. Your body's not going to start, your metabolism going to come to a screeching halt. <laughs> if that was the case, then people all over the, we never would be alive today because people were, back in the day, were running around the entire day searching for food. You know, that, that it, would, it makes absolutely zero sense if you really think about it and you do your research. Boosting up your metabolism is done by, you, eating the right foods, putting enough energy into your body, which in and of itself has a minimal effect, as you know, 10%, like I just mentioned a moment earlier, a moment ago, um, and doing the right exercises, guys. Do the right exercises. You, can, you know, anaerobic exercise, doing lifting weights, um, creating more lean muscle mass, because that way your body would need more energy to move and to operate. Muscle requires more energy to operate than fat. So, lift more weights and eat the right foods and you'll be good regardless of whether you're eating six meals a day or whether you're eating one meal a day.